Hello and welcome to part three of this awesome Python series where we're creating our very own audio player using Pygame and TKinter modules. What we're going to do in this time round is we're going to be creating a pause button and an unpause button and we're also going to be find using a scale bar to adjust the volume uh, from mute to max and anywhere in between. So first things first, let me zoom in and let us see what we have currently. So if we uh, run the function, run the whole program, and if I, you can see here, we have a list of songs, a playlist, and a play and a stop button. And then when I play the song, the name of the song should appear above. So let's just test that. <laughs> Good. And then if you click a different song. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to add a pause and unpause button to that. So what we do, how we do that is what I've done is created a, let's start with just pause. I've copied this and pasted it here and I've changed the variable from button two to button three and I've changed stop to the word pause and I put command equals pause. So now we need to create our function pause so that it knows what to do when it's come up, when the button is pressed. And we do that by going up here and we type in def pause, so our function pause, and then below that we type in what that action is, and that action is to pause it. So type in pygame.mixer.music.pause, and that will pause it. And what you do now is find a way for it to play from the pause when you press pause. And how you do that is use the unpause function. So if you paused it and then pressed play, what it will do is it will start the song from the beginning what you want to do is you want to start it from where you, where you pressed pause. And that is where the unpause function comes in. And to incorporate that, you just do exactly the same as you did to create the pause button, except you've created a function called unpause. And within that, you type in pygame.mixer.music.unpause and then brackets. The next thing you need to do is you need to pack that into your TK into window by typing in button three and button four dot pack. And what I've done is simply just fill it along the X. And then let me check that's everything. Okay, so now when we rerun it, we should have the pause and an unpause button. And what I'll do is we'll test that out on a few songs. So here we have the pause and unpause button. What we'll do now is we'll test it out. So if I play and then I'll press pause and unpause uh, a couple of times in the song. So here we go. So notice that all the buttons are working quite well. Uh, let's choose a different song with words so you can really tell when the pause and unpause happens. Okay, so it definitely seems to be working there, so that's great. So now we have our pause and unpause functions. What we're looking to get now is a way to change the volume, say if it's too loud or if it's too quiet. So if we exit that, and now we just are going to create a scale bar. And what that will do is that will make us able to choose any value of volume that is not set to a, that we can, we can choose multiple values between zero and one. Um, and what I've done here is I've created a scale bar using tkinter. So how we create that is type in tkr.scale and then what we do is type in player because what we're putting, what we're doing is we're putting the scale bar in the player window. 
and we type in from zero to one from underscore remember to put the underscore in there after the from and after the two and what i'll do is that i'll set the start to end point of our scale the next thing you do is we, do, we want this horizontally so we type in orient or under or lowercase equals tkr dot horizontal if you wanted it vertical you type in tkr dot vertical here but we want it horizontal and then what we want to do is we want it to go up in increments of 0 0.1 so you want basically essentially 10 different volume settings and we we do that by typing in resolution equals 0 0.1 so what we can do is we can change it to we, we can have like a hundred settings or we can have like a thousand or we can just have two and it's just however you want to break it down in this case i've done 10. the next thing we need to do is we need to find a way so that when the music is being played it is getting the volume that we've set it at and we do that by typing in pygame.mixer dot music dot set volume and then in brackets type in volume level dot get so let me break this down for you so pygame dot mixer dot music we've used everywhere else in this code but the dot set volume so what that does is that um uh tells our pi our um our uh, code that we want to set the volume and within that set volume, we're going to put an argument in there. And that argument we're going to refer to is our scale bar, which is given the variable volume level. And what we do is we want to get what we've set our scale bar to, to be the new volume. We type in volume level dot get. So we're calling our scale bar and dot get gets the value that we've set our scale bar to. And we can also put a few um, print checks in there just to make sure that we're getting our scale bar volume is actually what we're getting in the system in the program the next thing we need to do is we need to pack our um, scale bar into our tk inter window by typing in volume level dot pack so uh, everything is seems to be done here yeah so if we run it we should have pause unpause and a scale bar which changes the volume. And here we go, we can see that we have that here. Awesome. So notice the volume starts at zero. So um, if we play a song, we shouldn't hear anything at all. And notice that the print outputs are also zero. So my print outputs, what I've done is I have um, asked it to print the volume that is set in the volume level and I've asked it to print the volume that is actually being shown in the Pi game mixer so they should both be equal to each other so you're getting nothing here if I put the volume to max in the Python so this is the volume control that is within within our my Python environment it's not the volume control that is in the system notice that it's set to very low so when I change this, I'm only changing the controls within the Python environment. So if I press play. Let's stop it again. And if I do half. Notice it was a little bit quieter. If I do 0.1, it should be really quiet. You may struggle to hear this. And then if I do zero, you shouldn't hear anything. And notice in my outputs on the right, it is showing that, except that 0 0.09375 is practically 0 0.1. So that is it for today. I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial. I think that's probably the final tutorial I'm going to be doing on the audio player. So I really hope you've enjoyed the series and I'll be doing more um, in the future so subscribe and don't forget to like and comment as well thanks very much for watching